burn, burn. To burn is to use something as a source of energy. Running is good exercise for people who want to burn fat and lose weight. Check, check. To check is to ask someone whether something is correct, true, or allowed. Peter wants to check with the teacher to see if he is doing the assignment right. Coconut, coconut. A coconut is a large brown fruit that has a hard shell and white flesh. A coconut produces a healthy oil. Epilepsy. Epilepsy. Epilepsy is a medical condition that affects the brain and can make someone become unconscious or unable to control their movement for a short time. The doctor diagnosed the patient with epilepsy. Fat. Fat. Fat is an oily solid or liquid substance in food. The fat contained in salmon, avocados, and nuts is healthy. Gain, gain. To gain is to gradually get more and more of a quality, feeling, etc. Winning the award will help Stephen gain confidence. Glucose, glucose. Glucose is a natural form of sugar that exists in plants and fruit. People with diabetes need to check their glucose levels. High. High. When something is high, it is greater than usual in amount, number, or degree. The thermometer shows a high body temperature. Keep. Keep. To keep is to stay in a particular state, condition, or position. Brian needs to keep working in order to finish his project on time. Known. Known. If something is known, it is something that people are aware of or have discovered. Bob is known throughout the neighborhood as a burglar's liver. Liver. The liver is a large organ in the body that produces bile and cleans blood. The professor showed us what the human liver looks like. Low. Low. If something is low, it is smaller than usual in amount, number, or degree. The temperature gets very low in the winter. Management. Management. Management is the act or process of controlling and dealing with something. Practicing yoga is good for stress management. Metabolic. Metabolic. When something is metabolic. It relates to the chemical process in which plants or animals use food and water to make energy. Fish have a very high metabolic rate. Oil, oil. Oil is a smooth, thick liquid made from plants or some animals, and is especially in cooking. The chef put the oil in the pan and heated it up. Olive, olive. An olive is a small egg-shaped black or green fruit. I prepared a bowl of olives for my guests. Performance, performance. Performance is how well someone or something functions, works, etc. Liam's performance in the race was not his best. Powerful, powerful. If something is powerful. It has a strong effect. This perfume has a powerful scent. Starch. Starch. Starch is a substance that provides your body with energy, and is found in foods such as wheat, potatoes, and rice. Pasta is high in starch. Summary. Summary. A summary is a short statement that contains the main information about something. Cindy concluded the meeting with a summary of the project. The ketogenic diet. Many diets come and go. One diet that has gained a significant following is the ketogenic diet. 
This diet is a low-carbohydrate, moderate-protein, high-fat diet. Many swear by it, claiming that it has improved their overall health. Known health benefits are weight loss, diabetes management, increased mental focus and energy, and epilepsy control. An average person's main energy source is glucose. When food that is high in carbohydrates is consumed, the body produces glucose. Since glucose is used for energy, fats are not needed and are, therefore, stored. By lowering the intake of carbohydrates and increasing fat intake, the body goes into a metabolic state known as ketosis. This is when the liver breaks down fats and produces ketones, which then become the main energy source. The body then becomes extremely efficient at burning fat for energy. Therefore, the goal of a ketogenic diet is to keep your body in this state. In a ketogenic diet, carbs are strictly limited and should come from vegetables, nuts, and dairy. Refined carbs such as wheat, starch, and fruit are not allowed. This means pasta, bread, potatoes, and beans, as well as all fruit, are to be avoided. The majority of meals should include meat, fatty fish, eggs, leafy greens, dairy, and healthy oils, such as olive oil, coconut oil, and avocado. A ketogenic diet has a lot of positive benefit. However, there are side effects. Some include cramping, constipation, heart palpitations, and reduced physical performance. As a precaution, you should always check with your doctor before you start any form of dieting. In summary, Eating more fat, a moderate amount of protein, and few carbohydrates will put your body into ketosis. Your body will use up the fat as energy. This diet can be a powerful tool for good health and weight loss. The Ketogenic Diet Many diets come and go. One diet that has gained a significant following is the ketogenic diet. This diet is a low-carbohydrate, moderate-protein, high-fat diet. Many swear by it, claiming that it has improved their overall health. Known health benefits are weight loss, diabetes management, increased mental focus and energy, and epilepsy control. An average person's main energy source is glucose. When food that is high in carbohydrates is consumed, the body produces glucose. Since glucose is used for energy, fats are not needed and are, therefore, stored. By lowering the intake of carbohydrates and increasing fat intake, the body goes into a metabolic state known as ketosis. This is when the liver breaks down fats and produces ketones, which then become the main energy source. The body then becomes extremely efficient at burning fat for energy. Therefore, the goal of a ketogenic diet is to keep your body in this state. In a ketogenic diet, carbs are strictly limited and should come from vegetables, nuts, and dairy. Refined carbs such as wheat, starch, and fruit are not allowed. This means pasta, bread, potatoes, and beans, as well as all fruit, are to be avoided. The majority of meals should include meat, fatty fish, eggs, leafy greens, dairy, and healthy oils, such as olive oil, coconut oil, and avocado. A ketogenic diet has a lot of positive benefit. However, there are side effects. Some include cramping, constipation, heart palpitations, and reduced physical performance. As a precaution, you should always check with your doctor before you start any form of dieting. In summary, Eating more fat, a moderate amount of protein, and few carbohydrates will put your body into ketosis. Your body will use up the fat as energy. This diet can be a powerful tool for good health and weight loss. Analytic Analytic If something is analytic, it is related to logic and reasoning. The analytic article criticized the new plan and presented one of its own. Area. Area.
An area is a reasonably large place. He was very familiar with the local area. Bachelor, bachelor. A bachelor is an unmarried man. Since he was a bachelor, Jason did his shopping by himself. Cognitive, cognitive. If something is cognitive, it is related to learning and knowing things. After her physical examination, her cognitive skills were tested. Collision, collision. A collision is the act of two things hitting into each other. The collision between the two cars created a loud noise. Competent, competent. If someone is competent, they are able to think or act successfully. Competent employees are much better than unknowledgeable ones. Diploma, diploma. A diploma is a certificate proving that someone has completed their studies. After four years of college, Mary finally had a diploma. Excel, excel. To excel at a subject or activity means to be very good at it. Jenny excels at playing the piano. Geology, geology. Geology is the study of the Earth's natural structures and how they change. Because he studied geology, he knew how the mountains were formed. Integral, integral. Something that is integral is an important part of the whole. She is an integral member of our team. Intellect, intellect. An intellect is a person's ability to understand things easily. She was known for her quick and strong intellect as well as her beauty. Job, job. Your job is the work you do to earn money. He now has a high-paying job. Keen, keen. If someone is keen, they are intelligent. Only a keen student could have solved that math problem. Minimum, minimum. The minimum is the smallest amount. What is the minimum temperature in winter in this area? Psychology. Psychology. Psychology involves the study of how the brain affects our thought and actions. The psychology of seeing is a fascinating subject. Radioactive. Radioactive. If something is radioactive, then it lets out or is related to radiation. Radioactive states can be very bad for anyone's health. Relativity, relativity. Relativity is a set of ideas about time and space developed by Albert Einstein. Relativity teaches that light travels at the same speed throughout the universe. Sociology, sociology. Sociology is the study of human society, its organizations, and problems. Sociology teaches that people's problems are a result of their society. Theoretical, theoretical. If something is theoretical, it is based on theory rather than experience. His conclusion was only theoretical and not meant to be publicized. Weak, weak. If someone is weak, they are not strong and healthy. She is still weak after the illness. The bachelor's lesson. A keen young bachelor had finished his studies at the university. He had completed his studies in the minimum time and was about to start looking for a job. As soon as he had received his diploma, he thought that he was the smartest person in town. I excel at everything I study, he said, bragging about his knowledge. I've mastered psychology. I even understand the great theoretical teachings of science, such as relativity. There is nothing that I don't know, whether it's the movements of celestial objects like planets and stars, or how to use the power of radioactive substances. I know everything. But actually, there was something the bachelor did not know. 
Although his analytic abilities were great, he failed to notice he was missing something very important in his life. One day, while walking through town, the bachelor witnessed a collision between two cars. Both drivers appeared to be injured, but the scholar only stood and watched. He thought to himself, those idiots should have been more alert. They really must not be very competent. He never thought the drivers needed help. Please help me, said the female driver in a weak voice. Help me too, said the male driver. I'm hurt and can't move. Suddenly the bachelor realized he was the only person in the area near the accident. He quit thinking and ran to help the drivers using his medical knowledge. He carefully helped them out of their vehicles and then called an ambulance. The drivers were saved, and furthermore, the bachelor felt the best he had in his entire life. Studying sociology and geology didn't give him this wonderful feeling. It was the act of helping others, not his cognitive skills, that gave him this great feeling. He had learned an important lesson. He learned that intellect isn't everything. Being helpful is just as important. Having only a brain is not enough, he thought. An integral part of being alive is also having a heart. The Bachelor's Lesson A keen young bachelor had finished his studies at the university. He had completed his studies in the minimum time and was about to start looking for a job. As soon as he had received his diploma, he thought that he was the smartest person in town. I excel at everything I study, he said, bragging about his knowledge. I've mastered psychology. I even understand the great theoretical teachings of science, such as relativity. There is nothing that I don't know. Whether it's the movements of celestial objects like planets and stars, or how to use the power of radioactive substances, I know everything. But actually, there was something the bachelor did not know. Although his analytic abilities were great, he failed to notice he was missing something very important in his life. One day, while walking through town, the bachelor witnessed a collision between two cars. Both drivers appeared to be injured, but the scholar only stood and watched. He thought to himself, those idiots should have been more alert. They really must not be very competent. He never thought the drivers needed help. Please help me, said the female driver in a weak voice. Help me too, said the male driver. I'm hurt and can't move. Suddenly, the bachelor realized he was the only person in the area near the accident. He quit thinking and ran to help the drivers using his medical knowledge. He carefully helped them out of their vehicles and then called an ambulance. The drivers were saved, and furthermore, the bachelor felt the best he had in his entire life. Studying sociology and geology didn't give him this wonderful feeling. It was the act of helping others, not his cognitive skills that gave him this great feeling. He had learned an important lesson. He learned that intellect isn't everything. Being helpful is just as important. Having only a brain is not enough, he thought. An integral part of being alive is also having a heart. Administrator An administrator is a person who controls a business, company, or organization. Everyone in the store did whatever the administrator asked them to do. Affluent. Affluent. If someone is affluent, they are wealthy. People in the city are usually more affluent than people in the country. Audit. Audit. To audit means to inspect financial records from a person or business. The government usually audits companies that report lower than usual incomes. Automate. Automate. To automate something means to have machines or computers do the work. When the bank automated, it started installing ATM machines. Bribe. Bribe. To bribe someone means to illegally persuade them for a favor with money. The judge was bribed so that she would set the suspect free. Corrupt. Corrupt. If someone is corrupt, they break the law for money or fame. 
the corrupt policemen didn't arrest the man because he gave them money. Dispose. Dispose. To dispose of something means to get rid of it. He disposed of the can by throwing it into the recycle bin. Headquarters. Headquarters. A headquarters is a building where the bosses of a company work. He took the long route to the headquarters because it was a nice day. Incentive. Incentive. An incentive is what makes a person want to do something. The chance of winning a prize was an incentive to get people to play the game. Infrastructure. Infrastructure. An infrastructure is a collection of services needed to run a society or business. Power lines are important parts of a city's infrastructure. Legislate. Legislate. To legislate means to make laws. Senators have to legislate fairly, so most people will enjoy the benefits. Legitimate. Legitimate. If something is legitimate. Then it is acceptable according to the law. She found a legitimate plan to raise extra funds for her vacation. Manipulate. Manipulate. To manipulate something means to skillfully or unfairly control or affect it. The doctor manipulated the data to make it look like the cure was working. Merchandise. Merchandise. Merchandise is goods ready to be purchased or sold. The store added more merchandise because there were more shoppers. Retail. Retail. Retail is the activity of selling goods to the public, often for personal use. Although cheap to make, once a T-shirt reaches retail, it costs ten times as much. Revenue. Revenue. Revenue is the income made by a company. The new products really increase the business's monthly revenue. Rubbish. Rubbish. Rubbish is trash or waste. The floor around the garbage can was covered with all kinds of rubbish. Subsidy. Subsidy. A subsidy is money given by the government to companies to assist them. The official gave the company a subsidy so it could open two new factories. Transaction, transaction. A transaction is an act of buying or selling something. Because the clerk was new at the job, the simple transaction took a long time. Violate, violate. To violate a law, rule, or agreement means to break it. I was given a ticket because the policeman said I violated a traffic law. The corrupt administrator. Mr. Watson is an administrator at a big factory that made different kinds of merchandise. During a meeting at the company's headquarters, his bosses said they wanted the factory to make more money. If the factory makes more money, then you will too. His boss, Mr. Johnson, told him, "It was a great incentive. Mr. Watson had always wanted to be as affluent as his bosses." Mr. Watson returned to the factory and started making changes. However, most of his changes were not very nice, and some were not legitimate. First, he fired all his employees. Then he automated the entire factory. Machines now made everything. And his employees had no jobs. Next, he bribed some corrupt senators into legislating special subsidies for the factory. Finally, instead of paying a company to dispose of the factory's rubbish properly, he violated the law by throwing it into the river to save money. At first, all the changes to the factory's infrastructure created more revenue, but soon many stores could no longer sell the factory's goods at retail. It seemed that the machines couldn't make products as well as the workers. The customers were disappointed with the factory's merchandise. There were other problems too. The workers had told their friends and family to stop buying the factory's goods. 
Officials discovered the factory's rubbish in the river, and when they audited the company, they discovered that Mr. Watson had manipulated the law in order to get more money. All transactions with Mr. Watson's factory stopped. The factory lost money, and Mr. Watson lost his job. He realized his mistakes too late. He had tried to become rich by saving money any way possible. But the cheapest way is not always the best. The Corrupt Administrator Mr. Watson is an administrator at a big factory that made different kinds of merchandise. During a meeting at the company's headquarters, his bosses said they wanted the factory to make more money. If the factory makes more money, then you will too, his boss, Mr. Johnson, told him. It was a great incentive. Mr. Watson had always wanted to be as affluent as his bosses. Mr. Watson returned to the factory and started making changes. However, most of his changes were not very nice, and some were not legitimate. First, he fired all his employees. Then, he automated the entire factory. Machines now made everything, and his employees had no jobs. Next, he bribed some corrupt senators into legislating special subsidies for the factory. Finally, Instead of paying a company to dispose of the factory's rubbish properly, he violated the law by throwing it into the river to save money. At first, all the changes to the factory's infrastructure created more revenue, but soon, many stores could no longer sell the factory's goods at retail. It seemed that the machines couldn't make products as well as the workers. The customers were disappointed with the factory's merchandise. There were other problems, too. The workers had told their friends and family to stop buying the factory's goods. Officials discovered the factory's rubbish in the river, and when they audited the company, they discovered that Mr. Watson had manipulated the law in order to get more money. All transactions with Mr. Watson's factory stopped. The factory lost money, and Mr. Watson lost his job. He realized his mistakes too late. He had tried to become rich by saving money any way possible, but the cheapest way is not always the best. Assess. Assess. To assess something means to judge the structure, purpose, or quality of it. She assessed the condition of the toy car before buying it. Astonish. Astonish. To astonish someone means to greatly surprise them. The number of people that came to her party astonished her. Commence. Commence. To commence something means to begin it. His speech commenced with a thank you to all who had helped him succeed. Essence. Essence. The essence of something is its important qualities or basic characteristics. The essence of the argument was that both sides felt they had lost money. Extract. Extract. To extract something means to remove it. The dentist extracted the woman's damaged tooth and put in a fake one. Fabulous. Fabulous. If something is fabulous, it is extremely good. This strawberry is the best I've ever had. It's fabulous. Haste, haste. Haste is speed in movement or action. In order to get to the meeting in time, he proceeded with haste. Impulse, impulse. An impulse is a sudden, thoughtless urge to do something. Because of the scary noise, she had an impulse to run somewhere and hide. Inhibit, inhibit. When you inhibit something. You stop it from developing. Poor reading skills will inhibit learning in a wide range of subject areas. Ladder. Ladder. Ladder describes something last in a series or the second choice of two things. In the latter minutes of the game, the visitors scored the winning goal. Molecule. Molecule. 
A molecule is the smallest basic unit that makes up a physical substance. A tiny drop of water is made up of many billions of molecules of water. Ongoing. Ongoing. If something is ongoing, then it is still happening or still growing. The development of plants is ongoing because it takes time for them to mature. Precise. Precise. If someone is precise, then they are exact and careful about their work. The builder was very precise about where he placed the nails. Proximity. Proximity. Proximity is closeness in time, space, or relationships. All the trees in the proximity of the beach had been cut down. Publicity. Publicity. Publicity is public attention given to someone or something by the media. She received a lot of publicity after her performance in the film. Remedy. Remedy. A remedy is a cure for a disease, argument, or problem. A good remedy for a headache is an aspirin and a glass of water. Significance. Significance. The significance of something is the quality that makes it important. The significance of the snowy weather was that we didn't have to go to school. Subsequent. Subsequent. If something is subsequent, then it comes after something else in time. The flood and the subsequent rescue of those caught in the flood were on TV. Synthetic. Synthetic. If something is synthetic, then it is made to be like something natural. Clothing made out of synthetic fabrics is very effective at keeping people warm. Terminal. Terminal. If something is terminal, then it causes or results in death. Since his condition was not terminal, he felt a great sense of relief. A famous accident. One of the greatest medical discoveries happened by accident. In his haste to go on vacation, Alexander Fleming had left his laboratory in a mess. The essence of his ongoing work involved a type of bacteria. An infection caused by the bacteria was often terminal, and he was looking for a remedy. He had left the bacteria out while he was away. When he returned from vacation, he found that his lab was covered in fungus. He started cleaning up the mess. While he was cleaning, he had an impulse to examine the fungus. He saw that whenever the fungus was in close proximity to the bacteria, the bacteria died. Although he was a messy scientist, his experiments were precise. He thought that there might be some significance to the fungus. He immediately commenced an experiment to assess what had happened to the bacteria. It had either died by accident or the fungus had killed it. The subsequent tests proved it was the latter reason. What he found astonished him. The fungus actually inhibited the growth of the bad bacteria. All this time, he had been looking for a synthetic material to kill the bacteria. Instead, a common fungus did the job. He knew that something in the fungus had killed the bacteria. His next step was to find those molecules that had done it. When he found them, he extracted them and put them into a pill. The drug proved to be very effective. It also worked against other types of harmful bacteria. The discovery received a lot of publicity. Soon after, the new drug was being used all over the world. Because of the success, the scientist was able to develop even more fabulous drugs to help people. His accidental discovery changed the world and helped save many people's lives. Acute. A famous accident. One of the greatest medical discoveries happened by accident. In his haste to go on vacation, Alexander Fleming had left his laboratory in a mess. The essence of his ongoing work involved a type of bacteria. An infection caused by the bacteria was often terminal, and he was looking for a remedy. He had left the bacteria out while he was away. When he returned from vacation, he found that his lab was covered in fungus. He started cleaning up the mess. While he was cleaning, he had an impulse to examine the fungus. 
He saw that whenever the fungus was in close proximity to the bacteria, the bacteria died. Although he was a messy scientist, his experiments were precise. He thought that there might be some significance to the fungus. He immediately commenced an experiment to assess what had happened to the bacteria. It had either died by accident or the fungus had killed it. The subsequent tests proved it was the latter reason. What he found astonished him. The fungus actually inhibited the growth of the bad bacteria. All this time, he had been looking for a synthetic material to kill the bacteria. Instead, a common fungus did the job. He knew that something in the fungus had killed the bacteria. His next step was to find those molecules that had done it. When he found them, he extracted them and put them into a pill. The drug proved to be very effective. It also worked against other types of harmful bacteria. The discovery received a lot of publicity. Soon after, the new drug was being used all over the world. Because of the success, the scientist was able to develop even more fabulous drugs to help people. His accidental discovery changed the world and helped save many people's lives. Acute 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 When a bad thing is acute, it is very severe and intense. When she fell out of the tree, the girl felt an acute pain in her arm. Aggression 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 is behavior that is mean or violent to others. The problem was only made worse by Mark's aggression. Biography Biography A biography is an account of someone's life that is written by someone else. We read a biography about Charles Darwin in science class. Boost Boost to boost something means to increase or improve it. Lowering prices boosts customers' interest in shopping. Clap. Clap. To clap means to hit one's hands together to express pleasure or get attention. After the speech, everyone in the crowd clapped their hands for the speaker. Classical. Classical. Classical music is more formal and serious than popular music. Beethoven is a composer of classical music. Compel. Compel. To compel someone to do something means to force them to do it. Traffic signs compel drivers to drive safely. Creation. Creation. A creation is something original that is made. We saw the creation of a new political party. Dominance. Dominance. The dominance of a person is their state of being more powerful than others. Large gorillas hit their chests to express their dominance over others. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. When something is gorgeous, it is very pleasing and attractive. The girl picked out a gorgeous dress to wear to the dance. Inevitable. Inevitable. When something is inevitable, it is certain to happen or cannot be avoided. It is inevitable that the days will get longer in the summer. Legacy. Legacy. A legacy is an effect that exists because of a person or thing in the past. The legacy of the ancient Egyptians can be seen in their monuments. Masterpiece. Masterpiece. A masterpiece is a very good painting, novel, movie, or other work of art. The Arc de Triomphe is considered a masterpiece in the world of architecture. Multiple. Multiple. If there are multiple things, there are many of them. When the stunt went wrong, the man suffered multiple injuries. Narrate. Narrate. To narrate a story means to write about it or read it aloud. This story was written by John, but Aaron is narrating it to the crowd. Notorious. Notorious. When something is notorious, it is well known because of something bad. 
This area of town is notorious for gang activity. Overall, overall. When a thing is talked about overall, the whole thing is considered. Overall, the party was a huge success. Partiality, partiality. A partiality is a tendency to prefer one thing to another. She has a partiality for walking to school instead of driving. Spontaneous, spontaneous. When an act is spontaneous, it is not planned. It happens suddenly. My wife made a spontaneous decision to buy a new sofa while I was at work. Virtue, virtue. A virtue is a good quality or way of behaving. My best virtue is forgiveness. Beethoven's gift. Beethoven was a great composer of classical music in the 1800s. Many biographies have been written that narrate his dominance in the music world. But do you know what really makes him special? Even though millions of people got to hear his multiple masterpieces, he never did. Beethoven wrote his best pieces after he had gone completely deaf. His partiality toward classical music developed when he was very young. He wasn't interested in anything else as a child. When he was five, he learned how to play the piano. From then on, nothing could stop his passion for writing and playing music. When Beethoven was twenty, he began to lose his hearing. He got acute, spontaneous pains in his ears. His hearing kept getting worse over time. It was inevitable that he would eventually lose it altogether. It was very hard for him to keep writing music. He lost the virtue of patience, and he became notorious for his aggression. Still, he never stopped trying. His passion for music compelled him to keep performing. Even after he was deaf, he couldn't hear himself play, but he knew that his creations sounded gorgeous. His final concert was held and was to be his finest. He gave the musicians a cue and they began to play. He directed the concert with all his heart. He couldn't hear the music, but he said that he could feel it. Overall, the performance was one of the finest in history. When it was over, he turned to the crowd. They clapped and cheered wildly. In that beautiful moment, the applause boosted his emotions, and he began to cry. In 1827, he suffered from lead poisoning. He didn't survive the sickness, but his music did, because great music never dies. Even though Beethoven is gone, his legacy will live on for. Beethoven's gift. Beethoven was a great composer of classical music in the 1800s. Many biographies have been written that narrate his dominance in the music world. But do you know what really makes him special? Even though millions of people got to hear his multiple masterpieces, he never did. Beethoven wrote his best pieces after he had gone completely deaf. His partiality toward classical music developed when he was very young. He wasn't interested in anything else as a child. When he was five, he learned how to play the piano. From then on, nothing could stop his passion for writing and playing music. When Beethoven was twenty, he began to lose his hearing. He got acute, spontaneous pains in his ears. His hearing kept getting worse over time. It was inevitable that he would eventually lose it altogether. It was very hard for him to keep writing music. He lost the virtue of patience, and he became notorious for his aggression. Still, he never stopped trying. His passion for music compelled him to keep performing, even after he was deaf. He couldn't hear himself play, but he knew that his creations sounded gorgeous. His final concert was held and was to be his finest. He gave the musicians a cue, and they began to play. He directed the concert with all his heart. He couldn't hear the music, but he said that he could feel it. Overall, the performance was one of the finest in history. When it was over, he turned to the crowd. They clapped and cheered wildly. In that beautiful moment, 
the applause boosted his emotions, and he began to cry. In 1827, he suffered from lead poisoning. He didn't survive the sickness, but his music did, because great music never dies. Even though Beethoven is gone, his legacy will live on for Aspect An aspect is one part or feature of something. I thought about the different aspects of owning two dogs. Asset Asset An asset is a skill or quality that is useful or valuable. The coach realized the boy's speed was an asset to the team. Assignment Assignment An assignment is a task that is given to you to do. He was given a difficult assignment, but he felt he could succeed in doing it. Awareness Awareness An awareness is knowledge or perception of a situation or fact. She has little awareness of what needs to be done. Bud Bud A bud is a part of a plant that turns into a flower or leaf. Two weeks after planting the seed, a small bud appeared. Coordinate Coordinate To coordinate things is to make different parts work together. Each skating team had to coordinate their movements for the show. Credit 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 is something good in your favor. His bank account is in credit, so he has money he can spend. Disprove Disprove To disprove something means to show that it is not true. The scientist disproved the theory that the sun moved around the earth. Humanitarian Humanitarian If something is humanitarian, it is connected to helping people's lives. After the flood, several humanitarian organizations offered help. Hypothesis Hypothesis A hypothesis is an idea about something that has not been proved yet. The teacher did an experiment to prove whether his hypothesis was right. Informative Informative When something is informative, it provides a lot of information. The travel guide had a lot of informative facts about the region. Optic Optic When something is optic, it relates to the eyes or light. Her blindness was caused by a problem with her optic nerve. Premise Premise a premise is an idea on which something is based. The premise of the movie that Bobby and I watched was unrealistic. Rack Rack A rack is an object with shelves that holds things. He stored his tools on a rack. Renaissance Renaissance The Renaissance was a period between the 14th and 17th centuries. Leonardo da Vinci was a popular artist of the Renaissance. Spatial Spatial When something is spatial, it relates to the position and size of things. He was asked where the books were located to test his spatial awareness. Specify Specify To specify is to describe something clearly. The poster didn't specify where the concert was taking place. Tie Tie If you tie two things together, you fasten them with rope, string, etc. The dog is used to being tied up. Undertake Undertake To undertake a particular task is to take on the responsibility of doing it. We undertook to make sure everybody was well informed of current progress. Wax, wax. Wax is a substance that is slightly shiny and melts when heated. The candles are made of wax. A day without sight. On Friday afternoon, Sam's teacher had a special assignment. 
Next week, we'll be studying humanitarian efforts around the world since the time of the Renaissance, including those to help the blind, she said. Over the weekend, I want each of you to undertake the difficult task of wearing a blindfold for an entire day. The premise of this experiment is that it will help you understand what it's like to be blind, she said. Sam was a skeptic. He really didn't think the assignment would be too challenging. On Saturday morning, Sam took a piece of cloth and tied it around his head to cover his eyes. Then he went into the kitchen for breakfast. He heard the voices of his parents and brothers, but couldn't specify where each voice was coming from. He thought about how important hearing is for blind people. Could you pass me the newspaper, please? He asked. Just then he remembered he couldn't see the words on the page. He wondered if newspapers were ever made for the blind. After finishing breakfast, his brothers asked him to play soccer. As he followed them, he accidentally walked into the bike rack. He also found that he couldn't play soccer. He wouldn't be able to coordinate his actions without being able to see. Without his optic senses, he had no spatial awareness. Furthermore, he couldn't easily do normal activities because he had to make sure he was safe first. He sat on the lawn. Suddenly, he realized that although he couldn't see, his other senses worked perfectly fine. In fact, he began to realize new and different aspects of common objects. For example, he took a flower bud and felt it with his finger. He realized for the first time that it seemed to be covered with wax. His hypothesis about being blind was disproved. The informative experiment had a strong effect on him. It showed him sight was an asset that should be appreciated and taught him to appreciate and give credit to the talents of blind people. A day without sight. On Friday afternoon, Sam's teacher had a special assignment. Next week, we'll be studying humanitarian efforts around the world since the time of the Renaissance, including those to help the blind, she said. Over the weekend, I want each of you to undertake the difficult task of wearing a blindfold for an entire day. The premise of this experiment is that it will help you understand what it's like to be blind, she said. Sam was a skeptic. He really didn't think the assignment would be too challenging. On Saturday morning, Sam took a piece of cloth and tied it around his head to cover his eyes. Then he went into the kitchen for breakfast. He heard the voices of his parents and brothers, but couldn't specify where each voice was coming from. He thought about how important hearing is for blind people. Could you pass me the newspaper, please? He asked. Just then, he remembered he couldn't see the words on the page. He wondered if newspapers were ever made for the blind. After finishing breakfast, his brothers asked him to play soccer. As he followed them, he accidentally walked into the bike rack. He also found that he couldn't play soccer. He wouldn't be able to coordinate his actions without being able to see. Without his optic senses, he had no spatial awareness. Furthermore, he couldn't easily do normal activities because he had to make sure he was safe first. He sat on the lawn. Suddenly, he realized that although he couldn't see, his other senses worked perfectly fine. In fact, he began to realize new and different aspects of common objects. For example, he took a flower bud and felt it with his finger. He realized for the first time that it seemed to be covered with wax. His hypothesis about being blind was disproved. The informative experiment had a strong effect on him. It showed him sight was an asset that should be appreciated and taught him to appreciate and give credit to the talents of blind people. Addict An addict is a person who cannot stop doing something. She was a coffee addict. She had more than three cups each day. Archaeological Archaeological when something is archaeological, it relates to archaeology. They found archaeological evidence of an ancient species of man. Archaeology 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 is the study of ancient people through their artifacts. He studied archaeology to learn more about ancient Egyptian culture. Brainstorm Brainstorm to brainstorm is to have a lot of ideas about a certain topic. 
The students met after school to brainstorm ideas for their assignments. Budget. Budget. A budget is the amount of money available to spend on something. His budget for food was very tight. Chaotic. Chaotic. When something is chaotic, it is crazy, confused, and hectic. The first day of school can be chaotic for a new student. Sight, sight. To cite something is to mention it as an example or as proof of something. She cited six reasons that the school needed to build new classrooms. Correspond, correspond. To correspond is to match or to be similar to something. The boy's story didn't correspond with his mother's version. Courtyard, courtyard. A courtyard is an outdoor area that is surrounded by the walls of a building. During the summer, the courtyard is a nice place to have lunch. Estate, estate. An estate is a large area of land owned by a family or organization. He lived on his father's estate in the country. Fraud, fraud. Fraud is the crime of gaining money by lying or by tricking people. Experts say that credit card fraud increases around the holidays. Hydrogen, hydrogen. Hydrogen is a gas that has no taste, color, or smell. Airships used to be filled with hydrogen, but it exploded easily. Integrity, integrity. Integrity is honesty and good morals. The principal had a lot of integrity. Outlook, outlook. An outlook is a person's opinion or way of thinking about something. He changed his outlook about rats after he read a book about them. Parachute, parachute. A parachute is a device that helps people and things fall to the ground safely. They used parachutes dropped from airplanes to send supplies to the civilians. Prehistoric. Prehistoric. When something is prehistoric, it is from a time before written history. The scientists found prehistoric pots used by the people in the area. Proponent. Proponent. A proponent is a person who supports an idea or a plan. He was a proponent of using environmentally friendly products. Refine, refine. To refine something is to make it better by making changes. The principal refined his method of controlling students over the years. Restrict, restrict. To restrict something is to limit it and prevent it from getting bigger. The club restricted the amount of members. Team, team. A team is a group of people who work closely together. The All Blacks are my favorite sports team. The history of parachutes. Scientists who study archaeology say that there may be some evidence of prehistoric parachutes, but the first written history of the device comes from China. About 2,100 years ago, scientists cite an ancient book that describes parachutes. However, there is no archaeological evidence that proves that an actual parachute was ever made. Later, people from northern Africa and Italy also had ideas about a similar invention. In fact, a Leonardo da Vinci's drawing corresponds closely with the modern parachute design. In 1783. French scientist Sebastien Lenormand invented the first modern parachute. Lenormand brainstormed with a team of other scientists to come up with a way to help people jump safely out of burning buildings. He thought the solution was to give people an object to restrict their speed while they fell toward the ground. Many people thought that he was up to some kind of fraud, but Lenormand had a lot of integrity. His budget was limited. So he first tested his theory by using two umbrellas. He jumped out of a tree and found that the umbrellas worked. Next, 
he refined his invention. Rather than using umbrellas, he made a large parachute. Finally, he jumped off a tall building on a French estate and landed safely in the courtyard. Lenormand's work gave another man an idea. Jean-Pierre Blanchard had a different outlook than Lenormand. He was a hot air balloon addict. He was one of the first people to ride in a hot air balloon powered by hydrogen gas. He was a proponent of using the parachutes to exit from hot air balloons. Starting in 1785, he used his dog to show that animals could land safely from hot air balloons by using parachutes. Then, in 1793, he was faced with a chaotic experience. The hot air balloon he was riding in burst and started to fall. He was forced to use a parachute himself, and much to his relief, it saved his life. Agri the History of Parachutes Scientists who study archaeology say that there may be some evidence of prehistoric parachutes. But the first written history of the device comes from China, about 2,100 years ago. Scientists cite an ancient book that describes parachutes. However, there is no archaeological evidence that proves that an actual parachute was ever made. Later, people from northern Africa and Italy also had ideas about a similar invention. In fact, a Leonardo da Vinci's drawing corresponds closely with the modern parachute design. In 1783, French scientist Sébastien Lenormand invented the first modern parachute. Lenormand brainstormed with a team of other scientists to come up with a way to help people jump safely out of burning buildings. He thought the solution was to give people an object to restrict their speed while they fell toward the ground. Many people thought that he was up to some kind of fraud, but Lenormand had a lot of integrity. His budget was limited, so he first tested his theory by using two umbrellas. He jumped out of a tree and found that the umbrellas worked. Next, he refined his invention. Rather than using umbrellas, he made a large parachute. Finally, he jumped off a tall building on a French estate and landed safely in the courtyard. Lenormand's work gave another man an idea. Jean-Pierre Blanchard had a different outlook than Lenormand. He was a hot air balloon addict. He was one of the first people to ride in a hot air balloon powered by hydrogen gas. He was a proponent of using the parachutes to exit from hot air balloons. Starting in 1785, he used his dog to show that animals could land safely from hot air balloons by using parachutes. Then, in 1793, he was faced with a chaotic experience. The hot air balloon he was riding in burst and started to fall. He was forced to use a parachute himself, and much to his relief, it saved his life.